Got to Bogue Inlet. Tell them what we what, what you're running right now. We got shrimp uh, tipped on a sabiki rig. Shrimp on a sabiki rig. Make sure you uh, clean up your bait too before you send it out too. COVID free over here. All right, go ahead. It's a full moon as well. There you go. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. Yeah, so you can <laughs> this see. is crazy. Yeah, you, 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 eat, you eating all this? I do this. I do this almost every day. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Black drum. You say that, what's the size limit? 14. 14? How many? Per, per, probably one, right? 10. 10? Uh -huh. Wow. What'd you get? Wow. Sand perch. <laughs> oh, you got bluefish? What do you got there? Oh, oh blowfish. Oh, okay. Not it's me. The bait. She has the good bait. Yeah. Who? This? Oh, no, no, no. That's not. Oh, me. the shrimp. Oh, yeah. You got, you got no shrimp. Oh, hell. She got the fresh bait. I, she, I think she eats the blowfish, right? Not huh? me. I don't eat the blowfish. Yeah, she eats. <laughs> Yo, Annie's on something here. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Got the flashlight on. Blue is windy. Yeah, Virginia mullet, whiting, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm doing right now. I put on a, a blood worm fish bite. There we go. Then afterwards, I add on shrimp. There we go. Fish bites on, now the shrimp. You may think this is too much for the fish, too, too big, but they are biting it. Fish on guys, fish on, just like that. Pretty big too. Yo, Andy, can you get the flashlight for me? Oh, dude, that's a big one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here, I'm trying to show you guys. Oh my gosh, he has a, dude, that's a good size. massive. Nice. Massive whiting. Woo! <laughs> yeah, you're shining on her. Too bright, too bright. All right, as I was taking my fish off, Andy hooked on something here. Let's see what we got. Oh, big whiting. Another big one. Same setup as me too. Oh, that's nice. Double up, double up. Croc for reference. Oh, oh, oh. It's about to fall off. Ah, got him. All right, see the setup guys I showed you earlier. Let me turn off the light a little lower. Blood worms and then shrimp on a high low two ounces right now because the current's really ripping. Yeah, he swallowed yours. Oh man. It's probably whiting or a puffer. Could be a croaker too. Or sand perch. Got a sand perch. Not too bad. Too small though, I'm gonna throw them back. Ah, uh, sand perch. There he goes. Fish on guys, fish on. <laughs> Late reaction, but here we go. Oh, it's a bluefish. 
<laughs> yeah. Still on. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Bluefish. Uh, what's this? Probably eight, eight inches probably. You guys can go home now. Yeah. Fish on, fish on guys. Oh, he looks bigger. Oh, much bigger. Ooh, looks like a whiting. Big whiting. Oh, nice size. Which one on this, fish bites or shrimp? Uh, fish bite with shrimp. Let's go. Both. Yeah, nice. All right, guys, I'm, uh, it's a little windy, but I'm gonna talk about positioning and finding a good spot on the pier. Basically, you see that the waves are forming over here where my pointing lights. Um, you don't want to fish in that area because the waves will pull your line and the fish can't grab that. So you, don't, you wanna, yeah, like right here, you, wanna, you don't wanna fish right there. You wanna fish like over here where the, before the break or b before the waves form. And that's where the, you'll find the fish. Hopefully that helps. And that's what we're doing over in this side. See the waves over here? We're standing right before them. All right, just gonna show you guys what we caught today. Looks like uh, three or four bluefish, and then whiting, some sand perch. Um, a lot of people, there's different terms for them here in North Carolina. They can call them Virginia mullet, sea mullet, and whiting as well. There's a lot of nicknames for these guys, but I just call them whiting. All right, I'm just gonna walk to the end of the pier, show you what it looks like here. Fix my light up. King and Spanish fishermen only. What is this? Uh, biggest mackerel or Spanish mackerel. Four pounds. Oh, looks like there's tarpon caught here. Tarpon, kings, a lot of kingfish. Uh, blues. See Albies and Cobia. Someone left their fish there. Let's go here. How's it going? You guys catching catch anything? Huh? Any luck? All right, if you want to fish at Boat Inlet Pier, basically you just put that into your GPS. And it's also there is a live camera like you can see right here. This this view changes like every, I think like minute or two. Let me get back here. Yeah, look, it just changed to the beach view, but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. If you want to check if it's busy or not, or if it's choppy, go ahead, check out their um, pier cam. There we go, it's changing again. Looks pretty busy right now. Um, you can check out their site as well. You can see the fishing report as of Saturday. Of t um, it shows like you know mixed bags of fish, and of course you can check out the rates. Um, I think it was two twelve fifty for us to get in and bottom fishing. Um, but basically, essentially, at the time I'm making this video, the sea mullet were running. And they normally run the end of August to end of November. And that's basically it. Um, we caught bluefish like you guys saw. And that's where that that's the only fish that we're running at during that time. But um, North Carolina But yeah, North Carolina is really good fishing overall. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well. Something's gonna break